Welcome to Family Food Day. Family that eats together, stays together. As you know, this show is special because I always have some special guest with me to cook. So today's recipe is going to be from Darren. So I'm going to make him cook and I'm going to learn. Isn't it interesting? And obviously, you will also learn. So let's call Darren. Hi. Hello. Welcome to the show. Thank you for having me. Of course. It's great to be back. <laughs> and as you all know, Darren's my son-in-law, but of course, he's more like a son to me. <laughs> Love you. Love okay, you too. so today we're going to be making sausage pulao wow. using Goan chorizo sausages. Amazing. My favorite hai recipe. But you're going to teach me how to make That's it. right. So it's actually like comfort food for me. And it's perfect for if you're one person because it's easy to cook. Right. And it's perfect for a family as well because it's a hearty meal that everyone enjoys. Right. So shall we get started? I think we should. We'll start off with turning on the gas. Yes. We're going to need just a little bit of ghee hmm, because to begin because we have a lot of fat in the sausages right. so that's going to come out once we cook it right. so just to hmm. make sure that we have a base we'll use a little bit of ghee okay i think it's so great that nowadays um, even the young men like to enter the kitchen i think um, of course yeah. i found sanjeev many years ago <laughs> and i was lucky <laughs> So, food but, is actually a great love language and yes. I quite enjoy cooking for Rachita and my entire family and I love seeing everyone's smiles, you know, once the food is hopefully tasting good. <laughs> but if you cook with confidence, with all the love, that I'm sure is going to come out. Right. <laughs> okay, so once the ghee is nice and hot, what we're going to want to do is mm. drop in our whole spices. Okay, sure. So, mm. I've got one black cardamom pod. Okay. You can put two green cardamom pods. Okay. One star, star anise. Wow. The flavor is so good. I love right. the star anise. Then four cloves. Okay. Wow. And four peppercorn just for a little bit of heat. Okay, nice. So we also need to put some dalcini. One stick should be and good. And we need bay leaf. Ah. So we're going to want to just toast these toast. a little bit ah. so the flavors come out. Right. Actually, Goan sausages are quite interesting. I don't know if anyone's ever seen them, but if you walk into Goa in the month of May, especially to the market, you'll see lines and lines of different kinds of sausages. You have small little rosemary sausages or long horseshoe ones. They come with different shapes, sizes, different flavors. Some are spicier than others. Some are a little more meatier than others. It's it's a really versatile ingredient in terms of protein. I think now we're getting a nice aroma. So yeah. once that's started and you've gotten the aroma, you can toss in some yeah. onions. Chopped onions. Chopped onions. All of it? Okay. So what we're going to want to do with the onions is just cook it through till it's a bit translucent. Okay. I think Rashita is really lucky that she found you, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm lucky I found her. <laughs> I'm just happy that she enjoys food as much as I do. Yeah, true, true, true. So now that our onions are a bit more translucent, hmm. we can put in one tablespoon of ginger garlic paste. Hmm. Where did you learn this recipe? Yeah. Someone taught you or you just picked it up? So. I've always eaten this at home uh, and uh, you know whether it's my aunt cooking it or my mom, my father, everyone cooks this recipe but uh, I actually learnt it when I was alone and on my own because I, I was really craving Goan yeah. sausages and I wanted it in a pulao form nice. and I found out how simple it was Yeah. so I, I just tried my hand in it and it, it worked out wow. perfect. Okay. So now once the ginger garlic paste is cooked, hmm. we can add in our tomatoes. So this will form sort of a base for your pulao. Okay. So about two, three chopped tomatoes. Yeah. Okay, so what next? Okay, let it so cook. Yeah, I think we can just let the tomatoes sort of cook down till okay. they're a bit uh, soft. Hmm. Should Once, we cover it? Yeah, we can cover it. 
So with Goan sausages, what I really love is a pulao. But a lot of people also love chorizo pao. Have you tried that? Yes, I have. That's, in Goa. Yes, that's the best because it's so comforting. It's a small little piece yes. of pao stuffed with sausages. It's just the best. Even the poi that you get there. Yes, poi, poi exactly. Poi and uh, you can make the chorizo with poi also. Hmm. Right, so it's looking cooked now. Perfect. Huh. So now what we need to do is uh, mm. we're going to start flavoring this base. Okay. So we can use quarter teaspoon of haldi. We'll use just a pinch of sugar. Hmm. It's not necessary, but I do that to sort of cut the acidity from the tomatoes. Oh, okay. If you want to cut the acidity, add a pinch of sugar. Right. Hmm. Then we've got our green capsicum. Nice. Next, we've got a uh, stock cube, or you can okay. add in the stock as well. Stock one, huh? Just so it flavors the base. Right. And for heat, we're using one slit green chili. Okay. Salt to taste. Hmm. Goan sausages are typically heavily seasoned. Mm. They've got a lot of spices in it already, and mm. that's the flavor we're trying to bring out into the rice. Now it's time to toss in our sausage. Sausages. Hmm. So what we want to do here mm. is sort of let the fat render out. It will okay. add flavor to the base. Oh, okay. So we add the sausages first. Right. And let we it add cook the for sauce. how long? We don't have to let it cook for too okay. long. Two Anna. to four minutes should be good okay. on the heat. You start getting the, the fragrance yes. from the sausage. It's absolutely it. irresistible. I know. I can't wait. My mouth is already <laughs> watering. <laughs> so recently on Mother's Day, Darren Rajta cooked this amazing meal for me. Thai curry, Thai prawn curry with a prawn on the side, jasmine rice, salad. So blessed to have them in our lives. Blessed to have you. <laughs> okay, so hmm. the sausage is looking good now. Good now. Hmm. So we have, I have about one and a half cups of soaked rice. Huh. Once it's drained, we can hmm. toss in the rice okay. with hmm. the mixture. Hmm. So the idea here is sort of to uh, cook it gently okay. and mix in all of the sausage pulao and our base okay. into the rice. So you just want to do this for about two to three minutes, not okay. too long, Okay. just a little bit. So it seals in the flavors. Okay. Right, so now once we've toasted the rice, mm. we can pour in three cups of hot water. So now we want to put the heat up all the way huh. so that it's boiling huh. and we'll cook it for about uh, at least 10 to 15 minutes till the water evaporates. Okay. Yeah. We'll cover it? Yeah, we can cover it. And ek dam full gas pe pakana hai isko. If you don't know, Darren's a trademark and IP lawyer and if you have any trademark and IP related work, please contact him. <laughs> <laughs> So before we close this huh. to let it sit and boil, you can actually just put a bit of lemon juice okay. because that helps to stop the rice from clumping. Oh, good tip. Wow. Last time tip Darren I tha, to maine inko sikhaya tha tandoori chicken banana. Yes, tandoori chicken. Yes. <laughs> I've been practicing. <laughs> Agar apne wo recipe nahi dekhi, to jaiye dekhiye tandoori chicken with Darren. Now the water is dried up, hmm. so I think we can turn down the heat. Okay. And we'll need to let it simmer for at least 10 to 15 minutes. Okay, 10 to I know, just minutes. another 10 minutes, 15 minutes and we're ready to eat. I I'm can't. so excited. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. I just can't wait. 10 minutes ho hmm. Usually what's best to do is uh, let the rice sort of rest for at least 10 minutes so it fluffs up and hmm. sort of redistributes the heat and moisture. Right. That's how you get nice fluffy rice. I think we're ready to open it for the big reveal. Yes. Wow. Mmm. Smelling so good. Divine. It's looking now, good. I think we can yeah. plate it up and... Everything is cooked to perfection. It's looking so good. So at home, we mm. usually couple this with either a little bit of raita or mm. you know some sort of cool cucumbers, oh. cut tomatoes, onions because right. it sort of helps cut the fat from okay. 
the sausages ah. our finishing touch hmm. sprinkle a little bit of chopped coriander okay हिंदुस्तानी खाना धनिए के बिना अधूरा है सो वट आर वी वेरिंग फॉर जाइए पकाइए खिलाइए एंड डोंट फर्गेट टू लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब शेल आई फील यू बाइट ओके श्योर वॉट यू सीपुली दैट इज गुड एब्सोटली अमेजिंग थैंक यू सो मच फॉर कमिंग थैंक यू फॉर हैविंग फॉर teaching me this wonderful recipe i hope you've enjoyed this recipe as much as we have yeah. sharing it with you till we meet again thank you and bye for now <laughs> <laughs>